What's up, beautiful people? My name is Sable. Welcome to my channel, Curls with CPA, where I take you on my perfectly imperfect journey, and it's a vlog, y'all. Now, couple disclaimers. One, I might not be looking at you, okay? I don't know where to look, so I'm just looking at myself at this point. <laughs> Um, next, um, the quality might be a little different because I'm actually vlogging with my cell phone. And then also, this is going to be a week in my life, but there's gonna be some days missing. I work full time, so there are some days where I just did not pick up the phone to vlog. So you're just gonna getting pieces of me, okay? Right now, it is Sunday, and the next clip you're gonna be seeing is last week's Sunday. So let's get into it. <laughs> What's up, beautiful people? We're in the car, I'm warming up the car, I'm getting ready to go to Target and Whole Foods. And and um, I need to pick up a few things from Target, but I also need to return some things to Target. I actually bought the Shea Moisture, the new, new Shea Moisture wig collection. I was like, oh, I'm gonna do a video using it in my hair. But when I opened the products to smell them, I don't like how they smelled. I'm a person, I don't like the smell of tea tree. And I don't know, I'm like Shea Moisture. I feel like their products usually smell really good. And literally only one of the products smell good. And so I'm like, I'm not even gonna waste my time, but let me show you what I got. And then the other things I'm gonna return to. So this is what I'm returning. I'm returning the residue remover shampoo, the oil shine spray. This is actually the only one that smells really good. The flyaway mousse doesn't smell great. <laughs> and two-in-one conditioner. Ooh. And this thing, cause it came broken and so I actually never used it. And then these wipes that I cannot open and I don't feel like it. So yeah, that's what I'm returning and I think my car is warm enough to drive now. So I'm gonna get on the road and then I guess I'll see you guys again when I'm in Target, so later. <laughs> So I returned the Shea Moisture products and other things, and then I picked up some of my faves. So I figured if I'm gonna do a Shea Moisture wash day, um, I should do one with products that I love. <laughs> so I picked up that and some other things for the house and some snacks, cause I'm sleepy. <laughs> and so now I'm going to go to Whole Foods and then head home. Anything, but it's good to know that it's here. Huh. Just what I was looking for. Oh. Um, coat rack over here to put all our coats and stuff. And then I had these little command strip hooks thing. And so we put our, our masks and hats and stuff on it. I just need to get two more so that we can also put all the keys over here too. So it'll probably be like up here or like down here, but proud of my little section. And then I've got my little shoe rack here. 
Um, there's some curl boxes that I don't want that I'm gonna give away or sell. And that's my Ferran Candace's um, mask. I just haven't seen her. But I'm just going to wipe off the groceries. I am that person. Um, and then start making French toast. Y'all, these are my favorite bagels. Like, ugh. They have like 12 grams of protein, no high fructose corn syrup, a bunch of freaking grains and stuff. Like, I love it. Okay, it's called Dave's Killer Bread. That's the brand. And this is a cinnamon raisin bagel. Um, I don't need them in my life. Uh, but you know, if I do good, I like to treat myself to one a day or three, depending on how stressed I am. <laughs> I also get this for my hubby. This is their white done right bread. This has 10 grams of whole grains. You got quinoa spelt, rye, millet, barley. Doesn't have any bleached fry, flour. And it's soft and smooth. And it really is like a soft bread. So I got this at either Target or Whole Foods. And then I got some Kalos at um, Target. For these, I'll just like kind of rinse them with either my fruit and vegetable cleaner or with some like vinegar and water. So I just put them in this bowl and then wash them when I get a chance. Got some peach, orange, and mango juice for the booski. And when I'm wiping, I just kind of keep my hand in a place. And then when I move my hand, I'll take the dirty hand with the wipe <laughs> and go places where I was holding it. Got my flax milk from Good Karma. And I got the one, the vanilla protein one, and it has eight grams of protein. And it's unsweetened and it has 1200 megagrams of omega-3s so that's why i get it i'm trying to do one smoothie a day this week i have been slacking on my smoothie game and if i don't have smoothies that typically means i'm not eating vegetables so yeah got my, my spinach and my flax milk and so we ready to go i've um, got some milk for the french toast we actually don't drink regular milk but the French toast recipe we use that we like um, calls for milk. So I just get some organic milk. But one day I'm gonna try it with almond milk, but my hubby wasn't about the experimentation, so. And since I have a vitamin D deficiency, I always try to get the like orange juice with vitamin D and calcium and all that stuff, just to make sure I get that. And then my vitamins don't have calcium in them. Um, let me show you what vitamins I take. So me and my hubby, we take ritual vitamins, but they don't have the women. I don't remember what the men's version has, but I'm pretty sure they don't have calcium in them. And so I typically like to get my calcium from other places for my food. And this has it. Got some kosher uh, heavy cream. Um, this is the only one that they had in the store, but this is for the French toast as well. I got some cream cheese for my bagels. I haven't tried this cream cheese before. I just forgot to get some when I went to Target, but I'll let you know if it's good. Also, if I'm not looking at y'all, um, I don't even know where to look because I'm using my, like, the front camera. And it's hard to remember to look like over here. <laughs> Sorry. Got some butter for the French toast and the macaroni that I may or may, not, may, or may not make. <laughs> Yeah, and I just got a bunch of cheese because I'm thinking of making another macaroni. I don't know if you guys saw that we made macaroni for um, Valentine's Day. And I might make macaroni. Um, or I might make some something else. Let me show you what I'm gonna make. I love pesto. And I saw this in Whole Foods. It is a pesto alfredo. And we have some chicken breasts in the fridge. So I'm thinking I might make this. And of course, when you do pesto, you gotta have the little farofella. How do you say this? Farofella? I don't know. I call it bow tie. <laughs> you gotta have the bow tie. So I got these from Whole Foods. Um, and then I got the Parmesan cheese, just in case we do make the pesto, that we have this and not just like the grater joint that you, you know. You know what I'm talking about, the little grated one that you get that you put on pizza and like spaghetti. Yeah. <laughs> and then I also got some ground turkey just to go in the freezer, just so that we have it on hand. We're trying not to eat out as much, and I don't want to have to keep going to the store when we need food to eat. So I got this, and I'll just put it in the freezer for whenever we want some tacos or spaghetti. 
Um, we had tacos yesterday and the day before. So we had a little leftovers, but no, this is for the future. All right, and then I got four things of eggs. We got kill eggs up in this house, okay? And I also always get the ones that say omega-3s because I'm trying to be up on my thing. Yeah, and wiping this is really just like for peace of mind. I know that it's not really doing anything. I mean, it's cardboard and this is actually dry now. I gotta wipe everything. I don't care if, I don't care. Don't, don't be in my comments telling me about myself or nothing like that because I ain't sending for you. <laughs> nah, but this is just kind of like to keep me in a mental, a good mental place because COVID is real and scary. Then I just got four of these because we go through eggs like crazy. I can't, I mean, it's gonna be crazy when we have like children. Probably when we have children, we gonna be buying great value. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you have kids, like you have like one or two kids. Um, if you buy organic, curious, just curious. I'm gonna buy organic until I can afford it. Um, and then I also got these. I like to eat these as a snack. I'll eat them with the um, the medium cheddar cheese. Just love it. And then I also got this raspberry apple cider. It tastes so good, guys. And I got this uh, hand soap. This is a new scent. I haven't tried this one yet, but when I smoke it in the store, it smells good. This is super light. I'll probably keep this one in the um, in the kitchen. And I got some nutmeg for the French toast because we ran out. And then I just got some pasta sauce just to have on hand, just in case, like I said, we need something to eat and we're not trying to leave the house. I already have a ton of like spaghetti noodles and penne and stuff. I got some pink lady apples. These are my faves. I'm just putting them in my little bowl right here. I'll wash them later. Then I got some bananas. Organic, of course. I got this, some Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Mask, which is one of my faves from Shea Moisture. It's really moisturizing and it gives leaves that, gives you a little weight, you know? I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, really love using this. And then I replaced my shampoo. I actually gave this away to one of my friends. And so I'm just replacing it. <laughs> Dazzy. <laughs> And I got some Aveeno lotion. This is my favorite lotion for my face. And I also use it for my hands when, you know, I wash my hands a million times a day. Got these alcohol wipes. This is what we use sometimes to wipe all the, um, the groceries and stuff. Um, I like to use this better because it's like a hundred of these in here and it lasts a lot longer than like the Clorox wipes because only like 35 come in a pack. I mean, I get that from Target. Got some Cheez-Its that I don't need. Couldn't resist, it was by the, the register. I got some um, gallon freezer Ziploc bags because I'm, if I don't make the chicken, I'm gonna season it and put it in the freezer um, so it doesn't spoil. And I realized we didn't have any freezer bags. Um, and then I just got two condensed milk just because we use this in our oatmeal sometimes when we're feeling uh, fancy. <laughs> or if I make, um like cornmeal porridge, um, we put that in there too. So I just like to have these just, I like to have them on hand. <laughs> and then I got some ginger ale because I thought I was gonna be too sleepy in the car. I get really sleepy when I'm driving, so I bought this just in case, but I didn't need it. <sighs> but them hot Cheetos. <laughs> I ate those. And so these are all of the groceries. I bought a ton of stuff. <laughs> but now I'm just gonna put everything away and start cooking before my husband comes home, okay? I'm actually gonna put these in the fridge because I don't want us to eat it before it's time, before the time for like the pasta and stuff. And maybe if it fits in the fridge, it would encourage us not to eat it all today, okay? <laughs> if you know, you know. But now that I'm done putting the food away, I'm gonna start making French toast 
And before I start making it, I'll preheat the oven to 170 because I put the French toast in there after cooking it to keep it warm and to get a little crispiness to it. I'm going to leave the full recipe down in the description box, but all you literally need is milk, heavy cream, nutmeg, cinnamon, vanilla extract, brown sugar, a pinch of salt, and some cinnamon sugar, which you'll see soon. But this recipe is super easy to follow. I will try to link the original video where I got the recipe from down in the description box. But as we've made it more and more, we've kind of made it our own. Now, in terms of the bread that you use, the bread is what makes the French toast amazing. The recipe says you can use either challah bread or brioche, but y'all, brioche is where it's at. We get our brioche from Whole Foods. It's the best bread that we found for it. And I will cut it into eight equal pieces What I, to make it easy for myself. I'll cut it in half, then I'll cut those halves in half, then I'll cut those halves in half. And I'll also make sure I cut off the ends of the bread first. And when I set up my dipping station, I like to put the mixture in the middle just to prevent as much mess as possible. And my eight pieces of bread fit perfectly onto my baking sheet. And after I'm done coating all the bread in the mixture, then I take the cinnamon sugar and then I lightly cover each piece. And then I just do the other side of the bread when I put it in the pot. As you'll see me doing when I put it in the pot, I will put the cinnamon sugar side down first so that I can coat the bottom with the cinnamon sugar. That way, you know, every piece of the French toast gets a little bit of cinnamon sugar. And my preference is to use butter when I am making French toast. And then once every piece is cooked, I will put it in the oven as I make eggs. And y'all, I make the best eggs in my family. So what I like to do is I like to have a medium to low heat. I like to use lots of butter. And I mean, the better your nonstick pan is, the better your eggs will come out. And what I'll do is as the bottom cooks, I'll just kind of push the cook side aside. And then after most of the yolk is cooked, then I will flip the eggs kind of like you're making an omelet. And then I'll just kind of like scramble it up so but that's how I make eggs <laughs> and that's it guys I just topped the French toast with some powdered sugar so you'll see me adding this garlic butter that I got from Whole Foods to my bread and guys if you have not tried garlic butter or garlic bread with eggs please try it it is so good and I use maple syrup. This one is from Target, but we typically use the one from Trader Joe's and then I dig in and guys it is so good. It is good every single time. So make sure you check out the recipe in the description box. It's so good. <laughs> oh my God. Mmm. And then on Monday, I was super swamped, so I didn't even pick up the camera. And Tuesday was a super busy day as well, so all I did was work. And then in the evening, I did some editing and practice for my virtual choir, Echoes of Zion. I'll leave the link to the video we did for Black History Month down in the description box. But, you know, I'll give y'all a little tease right now. <laughs> And this is the next day and I'm just prepping to make some dinner. I made some macaronis, hubby made some candied yams and I made some cornbread. And this is my first attempt of making fried chicken. Um, I don't remember where we got the recipe from, but it was super okay. Um, once we get one that we really, really like, I'll share it with you guys. But this was good for my first attempt. Earlier in the day, I did a presentation for my friend's theater class. I talked about YouTube being an outlet as I'm working full time and it was super fun. But that's it for today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. What's up guys? I just finished my fourth Zoom meeting of the day and you know, I took my blazer off, but it actually really went well. I had like a staff meeting. I, oh, I have five Zoom meetings today, not fourth. Look at this. I've been sweating. My hair looks crazy. But <laughs> I had an audit committee meeting. I had a staff meeting. I had three evaluations. So that's five meetings. Basically, I spent five hours on Zoom today and I am tired. I have to review some water reports real quick. And so I'm just going to pour myself some Martinelli's.
and go do what I gotta do. And then after I do my work, I'm gonna clean up the kitchen. We made some fried chicken, macaroni, candied yams, cornbread, all that yesterday. And so I have a lot of cleaning to do, but first let me do the job that pays me, okay? <laughs> And it's finally Saturday. And on Saturday, we observe the Sabbath. So I'm getting ready for a Zoom church. The day before, I kind of struggled to get a good bun. And so that's when I know it's time to re-stretch my hair. And to do this, I do a little finger detangling. And then I add some butter to my hair, which adds like a little slipperiness. But it prevents my hair from actually reverting, which is not what I want. And then I thoroughly detangle until my hair feels smooth. And then I twist. Now, if I had like the night for my hair to dry, then I could add, you know, a little water, some leave-in conditioner, and then the butter. But since I only had 30 minutes to do my hair um this is what i did and my hair didn't really need to be like re-moisturized at this point i just needed it to um you know look decent <laughs> and when my scalp is looking real dry and crusty i like to add some of this pattern beauty scalp serum to the parts of my scalp that are going to be exposed and then i just add my scarf on and finish getting ready Down to the I'll make sure to link everything that I'm using down below, but then also I'll link my skincare routine video so that you, you guys can get all the tea on the things that I'm using. And then 30 minutes later, as you can see, my hair is very stretched, but if it had a little more time, you would have you seen a lot more texture, but this is perfectly fine for a high bun. And this style is super simple, guys. And the bun comes out different every time. I always like to use a silk scrunchie, and then I make sure that any pieces of hair that's left out, I will tuck it in and use a pin to keep it secure and when my hair was shorter i just used a bunch of bobby pins to keep the back from falling down ultimately the more stretched your hair is the fluffier and bigger the bun will be so now i'm just gonna eat my breakfast and watch church and guys it is sunday again yes I just finished doing like a little, I don't even know what to call it. One of my friends, she's a teacher. And so she asked me to kind of explain the auditing process, the planning process to one of her students. And so I had like a two hour session with her with that. I'm going to do um, draft up my voice post. Um, some of you know that I'm actually a creator, content creator for the voice app. It's a new app. Um, I'll leave the link to it down below so you guys can see the post that I did. Um, join it. <laughs> they need more people that look like us on the app, okay? Um, and then also it is wash day. So I'm gonna show you guys the products that I'm planning to use. And then I'm gonna end this vlog. So let me show you what I'm gonna use. All right. All right, so I have all my stuff in this little corner. Ugh. I don't know why I do all these unboxings on the floor, but here we go. I know this is so ghetto. I should just go get the tripod, but I don't want to. Okay. So we got shampoo, we got oil. I think we got this deep conditioner. We got some seeds. Okay, what's this? This is a Blossom Grows Pomade. Ooh, the packaging. It's a packaging for me. Yes, yes. What else we have? Ooh, this is what I've been waiting for. This is a Much Obliged Leave-In Styling Cream. Yes. Ooh. Ooh, that smells good. That smells real good, real good, real good. Oh, I know what this is. And I told her, so, oh, let me get the camera. Okay, so I don't know why I'm on the floor. I'm gonna regret this. I'm gonna change my clothes after this, but anyway. So I told her my continuous spray bottle broke. And so she sent me one. All right, yeah, so those are all the things. And so I'm gonna go prep my life for wash day, maybe I could show y'all some a little bit of the footage of me I'm um, setting up. I got a couple of posts to draft, and then I'm gonna wash my hair. I got a video to edit. It's about to be a, about to 
gonna be a crazy Sunday. Me and hubby are actually gonna start juicing, so I have to make our ingredient list and then go to the store. So yeah, I might take you guys along. If I do, I guess that'll be in like another vlog, but yes, those are all the things. So <laughs> let me get up onto the floor. Oh, oh, Ooh. And if you're interested in my sweater, so this is from the Life Apparel brand. I'm actually a brand ambassador. Not really, it's not, I don't even know if it's official, but we've been, my, this is my cousin's company. And so we've been talking about me being a brand ambassador. Um, and so this is one of her new sweaters. It is so comfortable. This is actually, I spoke with my husband's. This is a 3X. And so it just kind of fits me like, you know, you know how it is when you wear your husband's stuff. And then it has this cool like thing. It says, speak bold, speak life. So I'll leave that in the description box along with my coupon code, but I got a lot to do, so I'll go go. So I'm using a dummy battery. This helps me to be able to film as long as I want to without the battery having to, I mean, without the battery dying. So let me show you what it looks like. So this is what the battery looks like. And as you can see, it has like a little kind of hole in there. And, ooh, and this part goes inside. So I just put it in. And then there's like a little thing here that we open up. <laughs> and then this goes inside. Right there. And then you just plug it in. I just wanted to show you guys what I'm doing here. So I'm just making sure that I'm in the frame on the camera. And then I have this light here, which I need to probably bring closer. So let me bring it closer. So it's all up in my grill. Um, yeah, and that's better. And I think I might put the ring light to face the ceiling because I feel like the, light, the room needs to be a little brighter. And then I have this light over here, which is gonna be diffused by the shower curtain. Yeah, so the setup isn't perfect, but um, I need to fix the lights and stuff. And once I get out of my shirt and put on like my little wife beater, I'll be able to really set like the color, the white balance and all that stuff the way I want it to be. Um, but I'm gonna go brush my teeth, wash my face, change my shirt and get the filming. Yes, every time I film a video, I brush my teeth because when I'm acting all crazy and stuff and I stick my tongue out, I don't want y'all to see like a white tongue, you know? That's not cute. <laughs> Always up and down and back and forth and merry go from I just wanna get it right But when you go left, I'm stuck here feeling left behind Cause something went wrong, the signals got crossed And now we're going different directions Look at my hair, oh my god Look at my hair It's dirty. I don't know if you can see. <laughs> I'm ashamed. Look at what the camera's doing. Oh my gosh. This is why you need to film using a camera app because I look ghostly. I don't know if it's gonna look like this when I edit it, but my God, my Lord, this looks terrible. Um, but yeah, so I just like to take all the hairpins and stuff out of my hair before I film so that none of it is stuck in my shower. I need a bit, do I need a better angle? Like what the heck? 
Y'all get you a camera app. I'm gonna find one. I just don't um, know. I'm I'm new to iPhone, so I just don't know which one to get. <laughs> so I need to like kind of test out a couple of them. But yeah, I'm ready for wash day. <laughs> Ooh, ready. I washed, the last time I washed my hair was when I filmed my pattern beauty video. So this is, this is three weeks of pattern beauty. And then I refreshed with my, um, I refreshed with the Pattern Beauty Cream, but then I also use some of this, and I don't think I use any of this, but I know I use this from the main choice. And so my hair is not dry. It's actually, it's really not dry, but it's so dirty. And when I refreshed, I used a refreshing spray from Pattern, I think. And I don't know what made my hair flake. I'm pretty sure it was just the amount of products that I used, but yeah, I washed my hair on the 7th of February. Today is the 28th, so. I hate how that, you know, the next vlog I do, it won't be like this, I promise guys, but I'm gonna go. It's time for me to wash my hair. I think I'm feeling this too much and I might um, extend my wash day again. So I'm not even gonna do that, but I hope you enjoyed this vlog. And let me know if you guys enjoy these types of videos. Um, the next one won't be so ghetto. <laughs> but guys, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'm sending you all peace, love, and good wash day hair day. Get you a filming app vibes. This is this is the ghetto. <laughs> Bye guys. <laughs>